Tropical Storm Miriam is maintaining strength. Here's the latest on the Tropical Storm from the National Hurricane Centre and this is a live stream view at Turtle Bay. However, Miriam is 14 degrees north, 132 to 5 west, 1545 miles east of Hilo. Hawaii maximum sustained wind 65 miles per hour and tracking rest at 12 miles per hour and central pressure 999 millibars. Welcome to another update from the Force 13. And we also have a tropical storm over in the West Pack. Now here's a look at the life of the tropical storm up to a few hours ago. Tropical storm Miriam is forecast to continue moving west at a similar forward speed for the next day or two before slowing and turning towards the north-northwest later this week. Now here's a look at the earliest reasonable arrival time of tropical storm force winds. On the forecast track, Miriam will reach the Central Pacific Basin late Wednesday, early Thursday. Now here's the track on the tropical storm. How we can force wind speed probabilities and this is the preliminary one. Gradual strengthening is expected over the next few days and Miriam is forecast to become a hurricane on Tuesday. Tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 65, a uh, correction 60 miles. Maximum sustained winds remain near 65 miles per hour, 100 kilometers an hour, with higher gusts. Tropical storm uh, Miriam early cycle. Intensity guidance, and you can uh, notice the spread in the uh, models. One outline is indicating possible cat four. Early cycle track guide, a tropical storm. Miriam, this is one of two, one of three available on the tropical tidbits website. And over there in the West Pack, we have Tropical Storm Chebby. There are no watches or warnings in place. Now here's a look at a couple of the NOAA floaters. And we have a look at various uh, models on the uh, tropical storm. It's a GFS. The GFS total accumulated precipitation. This is in inches, and you can definitely see the uh, intensity, the rainfall totals right hand side. Of the the yellow represents up to 20 inches. Now this is a HMON. And a HWRF.
Now, what's the environment doing? The upper level uh, divergence. Uh, 10, 10 to 20, 10, 330. That's going from uh, right to left. Now, here's the current wind shear. The uh, shear tendency. And the A50 millibar vorticity. The model spread increases drastically at this point with the ECMWF showing a quicker turn, faster north northwest motion than the GFS with most of the other guidance in between. Joint Typhoon Warning Center's track chart. And we will continue to bring to you the latest information. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat.